Hello, it's Leanne, uh, with Harley, of course. Today I'm going to walk you through the stuff that you need when you're starting your in-home training uh, to place the sensors on your head and get going. In my next video, then, we'll go over how to put the sensor plugs into the amplifier. So, there's some things you're going to be given inside your box, um, and then there's some extra things that would be that I find really helpful when I'm putting sensors on. So, first what you'll find is a t you will have a much smaller version, but you'll have new prep gel. So, as you can see, it comes in a tube. Your tube will be a little bit smaller. Um, when you open it up, you'll get some smooshy blue paste. And if you feel it, it's gritty. That is for cleaning the scalp, but it is also electroconductive as well. So it helps transmit the uh, signal. And then, like you just found, I now have gooky stuff on my fingers. You will need some baby wipes or a cloth or something that you can use to clean your hands, clean extra stuff, all sorts of things. So, baby wipe, clean off those fingers. Okay. Next thing that will come in your box is 1020 paste. We call it paste for a very good reason. Sticky paste. This is how the sensor sticks to your head. So you dip the sensor in here and you stick it on the head where you just put the new prep gel and away we go. We'll get more into that in more detail. After that, what you, what's also really good to have is some isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, any of those is good. Um, I like to use Q-tips um, when I'm putting the sensor on someone else. Um, I find rather than getting my fingers dirty and wiping them, uh, you know, six times a day at least, um, it was easier to use a Q-tip to pick up some of the uh, new prep and use that to rub on their scalp. It's also handy to have some cotton balls to go with your rubbing alcohol because this has got to go on something and you can use this, I will explain later, uh, to give the scalp a little extra cleaning. Then what one of the other things that I find that's really helpful to have that's extra are hair clips because if you've got as much hair as I do, when you're going to put your own sensors on or if you're new to putting someone else's sensors on, can really help to be able to move some of the hair out of the way. Um, stuff like that. So hair clips. Uh, the last and most important piece is sensors. Now I use little twisty ties to hold my sensors in a nice organized way, but you can do other things too. So you untwist your sensors. Got long cords. It's nice to have different colors. There are two different sensors, flat sensors, ear clip sensors. You can imagine why they're different. These ones clip on your ears, these ones are flat. So it's really important to take a very close look at your flat clip and you see how one side looks like the bottom of the spoon and then you have the other side which looks like the top of the spoon. You wanna make sure when we're scooping the paste that we get it on the bottom side of the spoon. So it looks like this. This part on this would be the bottom if you flip it over, this would be, that's the top of the spoon. So you wanna make sure to get it on the bottom. So you'll see that in the next video, you're gonna scoop that up, bloop, and put it down. Uh, on the other end of all sensors are these plugs. And we're gonna show you how to plug those in. The other on the ear clip sensor, um, you'll see you have two little things, you can push them and they open. Um, what you're going to look for is the sensor side that has this wire attached to it. So you can see that this bottom one has the wire attached to it. That's really important because that's the one where you're going to put on the inside. You're going to actually scoop from the inside so that right here, there's going to be that paste and that's what's going to stick it to the person's ear. And truthfully, it doesn't matter if you put it on the front or the back of their ear just on their ear. Okay, so those are all the things you're going to need. Um, and now uh, I'm going to make an, the next video, we'll show you how to put the sensors on uh, and then um, how to plug them into the amplifier.